Jason. I'm here with Mark. And we're going to be talking slash responding to some videos we have seen on YouTube. Mike, could you tell them what these um, videos were? Well, basically, what we've seen on, on uh, the videos that we watched was uh, about these these young teenage girls who have had you know, problems going on with their lives. And um, one problem led to another one, which eventually led to them being pregnant. Um, we're going to be talking about and responding towards that and what are our opinions and how we feel about those kind of things. So, we watched this one video. How old was she, 13? Yeah, she was 13. 13, and she has a kid. And she was saying pretty much that um, she either her mom would like let him spend the night and everything, which is crazy. How do you feel about that? Such a young girl letting having a boyfriend even. Well, such a young like she's like you said, she's thirteen. So I mean, at that age, I was I would say I wasn't dating. You know, yeah. people at the age, you know, they're just talking or whatever, being friends. But um, she had said. That uh, they would have sleepovers, and yeah. even before they started dating their friends, then they would have sleepovers, and the boy would be able to come over, and uh, they would do things, you know, have have relations or do whatever. And um, I think I was like surprised, and I was like, I was in shock, and I was like, oh whoa, like really? She's she's doing these things, and um, it's so it's basically putting her in her hand, you know, where she can just do it wherever she wants, and she because yeah. she has the opportunity, and she has the chances to do what she wants. Yeah. But, um, and she was saying that her mom was going through some problems as well. That's why, kind of like how it happened. But I was, if I was a parent, I was going through things. I wouldn't let my kid like just be out there doing a bunch of things that they wanted to, even though I was going through something. Mm -hmm. I'd put them, even still, put them before I, like how I really felt. Right. Because now that she was pregnant, now she has to deal with that at such a young age when right. she could have just said no to him coming over. Right. Also, <clears throat> where was another video? She was 15 or 16? I think she was 16 when she got pregnant. 16. And she she was saying how she would go to some type of dance class, but she would tell her parents. Oh, yeah. Her um, her after school practices for like yeah. ballet or something. Ballet? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but um, <laughs> some, some dance classes after school. And, uh, <laughs> she... Oh. What she said, she had said, um, she would, it she was would only it, huh? an hour, huh? She would ditch, yeah, the, the and tell them that her parents were busy with work, so she didn't like they didn't really care. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that the that the what would it be called? The excuse that mm -hmm. death class, it was pretty smart, actually. Yeah, because she said it lasted like what two hours each class, and yeah. then she would have like, would an, hour and just an hour and a half. Yeah, she would, I would she would, honestly do she something would go, like that too. <laughs> she would go hang out with her with her uh, boyfriend and um, she said he would come pick her up so yeah. I was assuming or thinking that the, the guy was older than her you know? yeah probably a little older and like what do you think about that older people dating younger people or just well, yeah well, her, well, her situation of um, I think she probably handled it a lot better than the younger girl because um Well, she, remember she did say that um, her her man or her boyfriend was like was excited when yeah. when he found out that she was pregnant. She had told him that she was pregnant. He was like, "Oh, we're gonna have a family, this and that. Yeah. We're gonna have a future, blah blah blah." And then, and then she had also said um, a couple months ahead they stopped talking about it. Like they just ignored the fact yeah. and pretended that everything was fine, and you know they weren't really talking. But at the end of the day, like, um, it's still there. Yeah. I she didn't say if they were still together at the end, no. Huh? Because um, a lot of cases, yeah, a lot, a lot of, of cases. people, not even young ages, even old people, they won't end up being together. Mm -hmm. That's really. And scary. you think, you think it's because of the of the child, you know, being being there present, mm -hmm. or you think it's because it could be, it could be that a lot of people aren't ready to have such a big responsibility, and a lot of people try and hide from that they created another life because they're still trying to figure out their life, right? And well, they're out creating. What would you say, you know, to people, you know, like advice, what kind of advice would you give them for them not to end up having that type of um, problem? Um, with the kid or just? As as in advice for the for the people, for the people doing the, doing that thing. Intercourse. Yeah. Um, not do it. Because I feel having relationships, that type of relationship with someone, you should really 
truly care for them and love them and not just be like out around doing stuff with anyone just because you want like you want to feel something that you should really really i don't know how to say it like the person you're doing it with mm -hmm. you should honestly really like love them i, I don't know my thoughts are getting it should sorry. be something mutual, I'm right? Sorry. Something that both <laughs> that of them should have for that. something that they should both have for each other, right? Yeah. And you should be old. Older, right? Older, not old. <laughs> <But> <laughs> A super older. duper old, huh? Yeah.